Hello, Serge here for the Backyard Driving Range. We have a question that came in from Robert Benucci. And this is a, this is a really unusual question, but I, but I really like it. And uh, I don't think I've ever had this one come up before. So this is, this is an absolute first time, I think, for this, for this question. So Robert goes on and says, Recently, on your daily tips, you talked about equal, firm, grip pressure with both hands. My question, I am a right-hander, so why do I wear a glove on my left hand only and not on both? Again, from Robert Venucci. Good question. I mean, I don't know if I really have an answer for that, other than the fact that I think historically it's always been that, that anybody who wore a glove uh, always wore it on the top hand on the club. And I think possibly the reason for that would be that that what has what the whole world always told you? They've always told you that your forward arm, which would be the left arm for a right hand, or right arm for a left hander, is the power arm, and that, that you have the good grip with that club, with that hand, and, and, and that you have your lower hand, which for me would be the right hand, on the club, and it's just there. It's, 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 it's just hold it, like, hold it like a baby bird, and you're getting all your power from this hand, and, and this hand is not supposed to do anything, really almost nothing, and so therefore you don't need a glove because it's not really doing much. So I think that's really one of the reasons why the, the, the probably the left hand came into being, of having just a glove on the left hand. Now, as you know, for me, as you just, as Robert just uh, mentioned in his question, I say I believe it's equal grip pressure. There's a law of physics that says if two or more things, in this case hands, are involved in the movement of a thing, which is the club, then, they, then the pressure, the forces must be equal. Because if they're not, the one, the one doing lesser then the greater is putting that condition, that, that system into a condition called drag, and in physics, drag's a negative effect. So if you're only using and no right hands on the club, it's dead weight. It's just, it's just slowing down, getting in the way. It's like, it's like trying to drive your car, and, and you keep your foot on the gas, but you got your left foot on the, on, the, on the brake. It's causing drag. If there's enough pressure on that brake, and the brakes are touching, you're, you've got negative energy, you got the brakes trying to slow the car down when you want to go faster. All right, it's the same thing. The example I use all the time is is that if you're a when I was a young boy, I was an altar boy, and when they sent me up to ring the bell, I mean I had a rope like about two inches thick. I'd grab that thing, and I've always said when I put both hands on it and I got ready to pull, did I have was I holding one hand tighter than the other? No. When I pulled down, was I, did I pull one hand and arm faster or more than the other? No, I pulled them equal. And when that church bell recalled and jerked me back up off the ground, a foot or two off the ground, was I holding on tighter with one hand than the other? No, it was all equal. Well, you have to have the same thing with a golf club. All right? So, again, why the one glove? I think it's because of the concept that they wanted you to have all your top hand or your forward hand to the target. Top hand is the one that does all the work, and this one didn't do anything, so why waste your money on a glove? Now, there are some golfers, there's very few on the PGA Tour that play without a glove. Jonathan Bird, uh, uh, that we know well, DJ and I know well, he played at Clemson with, uh, DJ played at Clemson with Jonathan one year, and I think Lucas Glover doesn't wear a glove, which is another Clemson guy, and there might be a couple more out there, but it's very rare. Most of them wear gloves. They get them for free. They get, they get all they want for free. That's why they're, that, that's why they're so generous with signing them and giving them away. Uh, which is, becomes a great gift for, uh, uh, especially uh, for anybody who's looking out for some mementos from tour players, balls and gloves. And so uh, that's the key. But, hey, there's one guy on tour that's gotten really famous, and I'm pretty sure he's got one heck of a good contract or an endorsement with a golf company, and we know him by Tommy Two Gloves, Tommy Ganey. He wears two gloves. And I think I heard him say on the show that when, they did a, when he had a show about his life over there on the Golf Channel, he said that, that he, played, he played baseball, to a fairly high level, uh, and and they always and you see baseball players we use two gloves, and uh, so he had that feel. He liked the feel. So when he really got serious about golf, he just kept the two glove fit principle. And now he's Tommy Two Gloves, and uh, doing very well on the PGA Tour. So there's nothing wrong without there's nothing wrong with doing it. I mean, I think the only time I'll ever wear two gloves is is that uh, uh, when it rains. In fact, uh, I just found some I just found some gloves at at at, uh, at one of the stores pair of uh, the kind of like rubbery gloves I got them for when I have to use chemicals around the yard to keep my to uh, you know to not get the chemicals on my hands when I'm mixing them with something and when I put this glove on it was very thin it was very light and very rubbery and I mean and I mean I said wow these things got to be great 
these got to be great for playing if I get stuck in a having to play in the rain. So they're so they're so light and they're rubbery. It's like a cloth on the back here, and and so I just said, wow, that's that's really good. And uh, so I, they're so light, I just keep them in a the bag so I don't ever have to worry about them uh, getting on a golf course. Because sometimes you can start a day off and it's uh, fairly nice weather, and all of a sudden the clouds roll in and it starts raining, and you say, oh man, I left the gloves in the car. So I just leave them in there. It's so light. So one last thing, I guess I could tell you. That's why I always carry handkerchiefs when I play, because when it gets wet, you can get this handkerchief wet and you can wrap it around your grip, and if you're an interlocker or an overlapper, you can still put it in your fingers, and guess what? You're going to have a pretty darn good grip if it's raining. So it might be good to make sure you always keep a handkerchief on yourself, too. So uh, getting off on a tangent here. So two gloves, no problem. I think, I think that, uh, especially I've seen a lot of folks that have, I see a lot, most people that do have sun, uh, sun, sunburn issues, and, and skin exposure to the sun will wear two gloves and I've seen them long sleeves and two gloves to keep the sun off themselves that's it then I have other folks that that for just some reason if they, their hands hurt they don't play enough and they either start to blister up really fast or they got some they callus up really quick so they wear two gloves to keep that down no problem I mean so I guess more than anything one glove is just kind of the way it's always been and uh, and like I said we have no gloves majority one gloves and a few two gloves and uh, so it's whatever whatever starts to feel good for you and, and helps you perform better. And so if you want to try two gloves, let it rip. Because, I mean, it's no problem. They, all, all, all golf stores and all golf shops carry, carry right-handed gloves for left-handed players who are basically only wearing one on their top hand again for a left-hander. So uh, they're out there, and, and uh, it's all a matter of do you want to try it? and see if it works. And if it does work and you feel more confident, have better control of the club, and, and, and it helps your hands better and, and just makes you feel like you're hitting the ball better, that's what it's all about. Hit it the best you can because the better we hit it, the better chance we've got of shooting those lower scores is what we all want. So one glove, two gloves, or no gloves, it's up to you. Well, that's it for the search for today, and I'll be talking to you all again soon.